Uh, you alright, this is going to be a <laughs> DVD update. Um, sorry it's been a while. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do just the DVDs because there's, there's a big old pile. And um, what I'll do is, I'll do, I'll do the Blu-rays another time. Um, I'm going to try to go through these quick, as I said, there's a lot. Well, first up, um, as I said, this is a mixed bag of horror, action, oh, kind of some good old kind of history, historical classic kind of war films. My right, first up, Tough and Deadly, Riley Piper, Billy Blanks, is a good action film. This version is cut, which I was a bit annoyed about, so I went out and got the double film pack of that again with Talent of the Eagle. This is uncut, this version is. And uh, but it's a good one that is. I, I, I got, I'm not that familiar with Billy Blanks, I, I, but you know I'm kind of you know getting used to his style and that. It's all right. Right uh, up next is a Sam Peckinpah film. It's a really nice edition. This is. I heard you know many people going about it being a good one. And it's the Osman Weekend. A nice cover there as well. I hear good things about this film. I watch that. Uh, up next is another Jeff Speakman film. I think this is the last real kind of good one. I've kind of got two of his films. Sadly, the, the DVD's not been placed right, which is a bit of a bugger. This is Street Night, um, Jake Barrett, ex-cop, going up against some teenage gangs, I think. Um, yeah, kind of good old, kind of, I think it's like an early 90s kind of action, kind of classic, right? Uh, it's another action film. It's Michael Biehn in American Dragons. Again, I hear this is alright. It's got the guy in it, I can never pronounce his name. Kari Tagawa. I know I'm from oh god, loads of loads of things. Um This is another this this film now I, I had um I always remember watching this as a kid and in my opinion um I'm I'm actually trying to think of another film that could rival it's kind of dragon in it, I'm trying to think, but um it's Dragon Slayer, really kind of underrated film the dragon in this is absolutely amazing it it's a really really good film a disney film but you know it, you know it's um you know it's pretty pg i mean but it's you know it pushes it for a pg i gotta say it's a good little film man um another kind of mad kind of i think it's is it early is it late 80s early 90s i'm not really too sure as soon as i saw it, it had anthony hopkins emilio estevez and nick jagger i thought oh this is this is going to be this is going to be kind of good shit entertainment. It's free, Jack. I hear this is kind of pretty god awful in places. Um, I think it's set in the future. Something's. Uh, oh yeah, some guy. He dies, doesn't he? I think Emilio Estevez. Does he die? In the future, Planet's got amazing special effects. According to some, I don't know, some shit newspaper on the back. Um, and this this one does look interesting. This is uh, Kiefer Sullivan and Lou Diamond Phillips. Um, I think um, a Lakota tribesman <laughs> teams up with um, a Lakota cop, uh, Buster McHenry. With I don't know, this is a renegade. This looks, this looks a good one. I gotta say, man, you know, you see Lee Diamond Phillips, you know, you always know you're gonna be entertained. I've been a kind of a uh, kind of a half decent way or a shit way, but um, this is a. I think this is a horror film. This is, as I said, a lot, a lot of these films I try to get kind of on the cheap, some of them. Some of them are a bit more expensive than others, but it's Michael Ironside and Mike Starr, Robert Davy in Night Trap. I'm trying to have a little... It's hard looking at the camera through this. Indestructible Demon, Soul is Soul to the Devil, Sadistic Killer, that type of crap. Should be entertaining. Um, now... This kind of grindhouse double feature I got here, I mainly got it for... The top one does look kind of funny, Leslie Nielsen in um, Project War of the Assassins. But this, this looks much better. He sold died in the jungles of hell, you know, trying to kill USA. I think he comes back from Vietnam, he's a broken man. <laughs> Bikers harass and uh, rob his father's ranch. Get his army buddies in, bloodbath and shoes, hold up in the barn, he, he's about to explode, that type of kind of good old fashioned nonsense type of thing. Now this uh, this film was recommended, this next one was recommended by um, Selma the God. And cheers mate, you know, it does look a good good little film I have to say, I am going to get around to watching it. 
Um, it's called Razor Eaters. Yeah, it looks it it, it looks really really interesting. Um, kind of is an anarchistic gang, kind of causing destruction. Um, yeah, it looks real good. It did that that does look an interesting one. Um, I got this film because of another Peter Weller film. I got and I'll show this. Well, kind of in the up. I've got to be quick now. I've got to start zooming through these because there's a lot. Um, Peter Willow and Robert Hayes from Airplane in Fifty Fifty. Just as soon as I saw the trail and just that picture of them just <laughs> standing back to back and machine guns, I thought this this needs to be got, man. As like I said, man, I'm in this mood of just kind of just shit shitty action films, man. I I, I can never get bored of them. Um, this is a this is I'm trying to think which one this is. I, I ordered this a, a while ago. Something to do with an evil sort of presence. Got Bruce Greenwood in. Oh, they brand him the Antichrist. This is Servant of Twilight. This looks pretty interesting. I have to say, yeah, that that does look pretty good. Now this this film that um, I think I think that you can get a Region One of this, but the Region One is quite expensive. Um, it's Slaughter of the Innocents. Scott Glenn. Now that is an absolutely awful picture of Scott Glenn. I have to say, you know, it looks better than that. Um, I I know the end is pretty hilarious. Unfortunately, I can't read the back because it's seen. Is this version from Thailand? I'm not too sure. Um, but I know it ends with a um, sort of a, a Noah's Ark type sort of insane ending of Noah's Ark kind of going off a cliff, and that that does sound pretty entertaining. I have to say, kind of a killer, kind of biblical killer. Um, another kind of well, it's just a classic film. I needed to pick it up. Um, big red one. Great film. You know, I don't need to go into and good days. I start the restored version as well. Uh, another kind of war film. I said, there's, there's a, this is a mixed bag. Um, sea Wolves. Gregory Peck and David Niven and Roger Moore. I hear this is pretty good. I hear that's pretty good. Um, it's a sequel to a film that I, I, I really do like. Um, I don't know what the sequel's like. I hear it's uh, it's not it's not going to be as good as the first. Wild Geese Two. Love the first one. Um, I think they're trying to. Is it kidnap Rudolf Hess in this one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, that 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 should be kind of entertaining. I hope it is. Anyway, the first one I love. Um, another kind of just just a classic classic war film. Kelly's Heroes. Don't need to talk about it. You know, you 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 probably all seen it. Another again, another kind of just a classic classic war film. Dirty Dozen. It's a nice little sip case, that is. Great, great film. Um, kind of a western I haven't seen, who it's, uh, it's pretty brutal in places. Um, Soldier Blue, Donald Pleasant and uh, Peter Strauss. I hear that's pretty, I hear that's very good. Another western um, with Burt Lancaster, um, Ozana's Raid. As I said, this is just a total mixed bag. It's just that you have, you know, just I've just just went out and bought a fair few kind of stuff. Um, I've been wanting to pick this up for a while. This is a, I think this is a kind of a horror slash from the director Fire the Thirteenth and a stranger is watching. It's uh, the new kids with Jam Spider. One of those kind of probably rare times he doesn't play a complete pervert. He always seems to play a sort of a, <laughs> sort of. A, <laughs> perverted kind of character in things. I don't know. I like him. He's all right. Another action film. Saw the trailer for this. Had to get it. Um, William Forsyth in direct hit. The trailer had me in just pieces. Um, yeah, it, it just, looks, just. I got that pretty cheap. Um, now I was watching some of this, and I had to stop. Not, not, not that it was um, shit or anything, but I just, I just had to do something else at the time. But it's a. Uh, the double pack of um, the Gladiator and Death Ring. Death Ring, you've got oh, is it Chuck Norris's son, Billy Drago, Steve McQueen's son, and Patrick Swayze's brother. Um, Billy Drago just basically plays Billy Drago. As you know, I, I, I don't think he can really play any other kind of part, but he's pretty entertaining. This one I got very cheap, um, and you know what? It's got a, it's pretty it's pretty good entertaining. It's it kind of wanes in the middle a bit. It's act of piracy with Gary Busey. It's with his kids on a oh god on a massive kind of boat on uh, it's going to Australia, 
they get hijacked, kids get kidnapped, he gets left for dead, then he goes after them. Uh, Arnold Vosloo turns up in it, the guy from The Mummy, he gets an absolutely awesome death, I, I have to say. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's pretty good, it's, it's, uh, sometimes you have to fast forward it a little bit, but you know, it's alright. This is a Mario and Peebles film, um, Peter Ball in it as well, and Courtney B. Vance, uh, Urban Crossfire. Now this, this doesn't look too bad, I think it's the, I think he's, partner gets brutally murdered and he, and he I think he goes after the killers I think I, that might not be exact um what this is a Van Damme one I've been trying to get for a while um I've been at, I've been trying to get it for a while and I'm trying to think who's in this one oh Ted Levine's in it okay yeah he'll be she should be good it's time uh, nowhere to run a lot of Van Damme's films man you know a lot of guys I've got to say uh now this film does look pretty awful but again I got it cheap the motley crew of people in there. You got Robert Davi, Ralph Marler from Gladiator, and there's a, there's a few others as well. I, I, know, I know there is. Um, it's the Bad Pack. They're going up against a fanatical militia group. Somewhere it says on the back. As I said I got it very very cheap, so it was all right. Another one which was I have to say was pretty entertain pretty entertaining. Roy Schneider and their guy Busey and Plato's Run. Um, Probably entertaining enough to see uh, Jeff Speakman getting gunned down. Stephen Bowers is uh, is um, Busey's kind of right hand man in it as well. It's it's pretty good, ludicrously cheap. So yeah, it was all right. Now this one, this this was a a little gem of a film, I have to say. Um, it's David Carradine, Lee Van Cleef in Arm Response. Um, our father and son basically after well, not just one but two brothers of the family get killed. And uh, they go up against, um, I think it's the Yakuza, something about a statue being stolen because they're trying to make peace with the triads in it. And it's 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 pretty funny, man. Lee Van Cleef is real good in this. And Karen Dean, man. You know, it's a good little film. Um, oh, God, what's this one? Another Michael Ironside one. I saw this trailer. It's in kind of a, kind of a slimline case. It's a uh, force to kill. And this kid kind of gets kidnapped and he's kind of forced to fight and then some sort of perverted, demented sheriff in Michael Ironside. I think Patrick Swayze's brother's in this as well. Don Swayze, yeah. Well, as I said, I got it cheap. It's all right. Um, it's another one, another kind of sort of a 70s kind of European kind of action kind of movie. James Mason, Anthony Perkins in North Sea Hijack. Don't really know too much about it. I hear it's all right. I hear it's okay. Um, another Billy Banks Roddy Pop one. I hear this one's not as good as the other one I mentioned earlier, which I can't remember its name. It's uh, back in action. It, sh it should be good entertainment, you know. Just um, it's not going to be like um, a masterpiece or anything, but it should be entertaining. Now this one, this one was real, really good. This is a uh, Mickey Rourke in um, Point Blank. You can see, you can see his facial features starting to change here, um, like Rourke's, but. Um, Basically, these, uh, oh god, this prison bus kind of gets, um, loads of prisoners escape, um, including, you got Danny Trejo, or oh, what's the guy from Heat called, um, guy plays Wayne Grow, oh, what's his name, Kevin Gage, and you got Michael Wright from Oz, you might know him as Omar in Oz. There's some funny, and they take over a mall, there are some serious, there's some funny deaths in this, um, Good bit, good bit, of, good bit of acting as well from Rourke near the end. If it was in a normal film, people would probably rave about it because it's in a kind of a sort of a, an action film that probably not many people watch. They probably don't really care. But that's a good one, man. That's a good little action movie. Now this film, this is this is one of those kind of mid nineties. Um, God, how do you describe it? It's kind of mid nineties kind of drama, but it's a really, really good one. I would really recommend this. This is a Kiss of Death with David Caruso, Nicholas Cage, Samuel L. Jackson. Nicholas Cage is kind of, I think he's a former kind of criminal, trying to get out of the life. He goes to prison for something, then he comes out and he kind of goes undercover, um, trying to infiltrate Nicholas Cage's gang. I think this is in, I think this is in New York, or is it in Philadelphia? I'm not too sure. Um, there's an absolutely awesome bit where Nicholas Cage just throws a lorry driver out, shouting to his face. That's that, that's a highlight. That really made me laugh. Well, this is. Um, this is this does this looks a really good film. This is Roy Schneider and Jürgen Prock now. I think that's the bad name. John Frankenheimer film. Um, it's the Fourth War. Um, 
I think it's on the board. Is it on the yeah, Cold War third American colonel and Soviet. They're basically they're basically engaged in a private war. I think it's I think it's just on the Czech border. I think I could be wrong about that. Um, yeah, and I, I, the, the trailer for that looks brilliant. It looks a real good film. Um, I got the fourth war with this film. I got I got these for a pretty decent price. This is Vigilante Force with Chris Christopherson and um, Jan Marco Vincent. Um, basically, Chris Christopherson comes home. His town's been kind of taken over by unruly oil workers, and they basically just take the war to them. But then there's loads of infighting going on between him and the brother. The trailer had me in pieces. I was laughing my head off at it. It looked a good one. Now this, th this film, this is oh god, 